In this tutorial, we want to spend some time going over the comment data that comes in with your NPS response data. The comment data is incredibly valuable to use to not only understand more about why your users gave a certain score, but also to help you as an administrator to properly direct your attention to what should be and maybe should not be changed within your product. Now to get to the comments, if you're on a random page, you can come over here and click on the dashboard and then click on the comment section and you'll be presented with this screen. Now right from the get-go, we can immediately tell that we are looking at approximately 180 responses according to this time frame up here, which is roughly a 60-day time frame. During that time frame, we have 119 of those responses given as promoters. So these are users that rated our, our product either a 9 or a 10, and they account for approximately 66% of the total. We've got 38 passives, which are 21%, and 23 detractors, which is 13%. Now maybe this is a little bit too much data that we need to interact with right now. Maybe we want to just focus on the last couple of weeks. I can go ahead and come in here and change the value. Let's do the last week. And our data immediately changes. I get 18 responses. 14 promoters, 3 passive, 1 detractor. Well, I want a few more detractors to be able to work with, so let's go ahead and back this up to about 3 weeks worth of data. There we go. Now I've got 8 different detractors that I can interact with. I can very easily see from a high level as I scroll through this page which ones are the promoters, which ones are the passives, and which ones are the detractors based on their color coordinating. Let's take a look at this one right here. Fix the performance and I might give it a better score. Now it's very important when we analyze our data to hone in on the five and the six scores because these are users who were so close to being passive, passive users that if we help address their concerns and their issues, we will make huge lengths in terms of improving our NPS score. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that we want to ignore the users who scored a 0 and a 1 and a 2, etc. But it just means that those users who are at a 0, 1, and a 2 are much more jaded, and we will have a much higher, you know, we will have a much harder time winning them over and getting them back to be promoters of our product. Whereas users who scored a 5 and a 6, you know, we have a much much more likely chance of getting them to be promoters of our product. Now when we're looking at this data we can immediately see what the actual comments were. If we look at some of these promoters we can see that users love the reports, they love the graphs, reports again, more on the graphs. So our reports and our graphs seem to be kind of making a trend where that those are the features that users like the most. That's important for us to understand because we don't want to mess up the experience that our promoters like the most. By contrast, the users who gave us a poor score, they're making comments about the performance. Let's find another one. Bugs, 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 bugs all over the place. So again, they're talking about performance, they're talking about errors. So if we fix those items, we'll have a higher likelihood of getting them into our system. Here we go again. More errors, too slow, more on performance. Now let's look at these errors right here. The site is way too slow. When we look at this user, we can see an identification number, which we can manipulate and we can put in our own ID into our form when we're presenting the JavaScript to the user. In this case, this is demo data, so a demo ID has been created for us. We can then also see the date that this feedback was received on November 8th. We also get information about the user. In this case, we get their user agent string, which provides their operating system, their browser, as well as the locale that they're operating under. In this case, this user is running Mac OS X version 10.8, and they're on the Safari browser. 
and in this case they're speaking Spanish. This is very valuable data because we can start to notice trends in terms of their operating system, their browser, or their locales, and maybe we have issues with one particular browser over another. If we're getting a worse score on Safari than we are on other browsers, then maybe the, the issue is related to that browser. Now there's a couple additional features that I want to highlight. The first one is right here, which is our forward link. Let's go ahead and give that a click. When we, when we click on it, we're presented with this email pop-up according to whatever our email program settings are for our computer that we're using. This allows us to very easily forward the details of this particular NPS feedback to a coworker or to someone else on our team to help with the follow-up process. Maybe this is something that we want to highlight. Maybe we got a really good score and we wanted to send it to somebody to say, look at this great score that we got. In this case, we got a six, and so let's say, okay, we need to follow up with this user. Maybe I'm going to send this to a customer service or an account representative, and I'm going to say, please follow up with this user and figure out more about why, you know, how we can get them to be a promoter of our service. Get more details from the user about why this service is slow. These are the comments they provided. Why is the site slow to them, etc. We've also got an edit button, which can be kind of handy because in this case, maybe the CS person or the account representative followed up with the person and they realized that the user didn't actually mean to submit that NPS survey. Maybe they were just testing our software and they saw the NPS survey and just kind of entered in random data and they weren't actually providing real feedback. So we can go into our editor and we have direct access to our data. Now this is provided as a service as our as an account administrator so that we can manipulate the data as needed if if we have to. Generally we won't need to and we won't want to. For example, you really won't want to change this the user submitted NPS score but it is your data and you're free to do whatever you want with it in this case maybe the user submitted an incorrect score and they wanted to change it so you have the ability to change it here so that it reflects across all your other graphs and services or you might want to delete the response because it was submitted inappropriately or by accident so we can say delete confirm the deletion and then it's gone. Or maybe we can do something else. We can go in here, add some notes, save our changes, and then we're presented back to the actual page.